We're at ground zero for cash one. Watch the intro and we'll be back with your challenge. Welcome to geocaching with you got a friend in PA. Co-starring Rob, the geocaching mobile. With fellow cacher, PA Fireman 3. From urban to mountaintop cache adventures. And everything in between. From micro to others. And, and even nanos, nanos too. too. Are you ready to have your geo senses tested? Here comes your challenge for today. Cache number one for today. You've seen the hike in. Three locations with a pill bottle. One, zip tied. Two, rock pile base of tree. Three, in the base of the little bush over there. Well, it's kind of a big bush now. <laughs> but, you know, mixed in the roots down at the bottom covered by some leaves. So we got a pill bottle. Let me look it up, because I forget. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay. Pill bottle, mystery cache. This one's down as a small, two difficulty, two terrain, three locations. It's that time once again for you to open that pole. Because it's time for you to pick. Is it location one with a zip tie? Is it location two in the rocks? Location three, is it at the base of the bush? Which one is it? Me, Robbie, or Keith? One of us is right, two of us is wrong. Well, folks. Mine's a good location. Do you think yours is a good location? Yeah. Do you think yours is a good location? I think that's the best. You think that one's the best? Wow. <sighs> well, somebody's got to give it up. See, now, I think mine's good. I mean, come on. Zip tied to a tree in the woods. How can you ever, like, not even think of that? Yeah, why is that zip tied up there? But then again, yeah. come on. There's rocks at the base of a tree. Giveaway, right? Come on, how many times have you walked up and go, rock pile, there it is? Yeah, but zip tie? Come on. And then you got three in the base of a bush. We all been there. We all done it. Wow. <sighs> I hate to do it, though. I really hate to do it. Do I or don't I? Mine's the best. But not for this cash. Oh, here goes number three. Three is gone. I agree with him. That's a pretty good spot. But you know what? Mine's better if it was for another cash too. You mean I win? You win, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You got to win the location. Right. <laughs> Let's let Robbie show you as we put it back. If the there we go. Good. All right, folks. Let me show you something. <laughs> you come down here. You pick up this rock. And it's right under there. <laughs> you pick up the rock and you throw it. <laughs> there you go, folks. It's out of here. Got ourselves a matchstick container. Continuing the geo art for cache number two. We got ourselves a matchstick container. Part of the geo art. This is a mystery cache. Micro. Two and a half difficulty. Two and a half, one and a half terrain. Should be two and a half. We're in pretty dang far from parking. So, it's a one and a half, okay? It is what it is. You ready for your ground zero? There it is, folks. Three locations. Number one, is it in the rotten tree base? Number two. Is it in between the two small trees under bark? Number three, is it behind the twisty vine 
under a geopile. You've seen three locations on where this matchstick container could be. Looks like it has a little damage from being chewed on, maybe by a local squirrel or a chipmunk. Now, folks, take the pole. Open it up. Look at your choices one more time. Number one, number two, or number three. Where can this be? Well, we're going to do something just a little different. See all three of them? Robbie, why don't you go in and pick one that it is not? Which one is he going to pick, folks? Is he going to pick one? Is he going to pick two? Is he going to pick three? We don't know what's going through his mind. Oh, I did not see that coming. He took number two. Wow. Did you see that one coming? I didn't see it coming. I thought for sure he was going to take number three. I mean, come on, look at it. Look at number three. Look where it's sitting. Like, clearly number one's the winner. I mean, look at it. It's in the base of a rotten tree. Well, there's only one more thing that we can do. Keith, why don't you pick another location that it's not? Mm-hmm. What's he going for? Is he going for three? Is he going for one? Oh, one. oh look at that. Look at that. He it faked you three. out. What? Haha, <laughs> number three was the winner. Let me show you. You walk over here to ground zero. You fall into the tree. <laughs> good spot. That would be a good spot. Number two back here. Another good spot. But number three. Take this container. Slide it right behind the vine here. And cover it up. That simple. As long as you can find the trails to get back here. Which is why I don't think it should be a one and a half. Two and a half. Anyway. I think we have one more for today. Could we bring you number three? I think we can. Oops. Cash number three for today. We got ourselves a clear pill bottle. And cloudy skies. This is a micro. Mystery. Two difficulty. Two terrain. Once again, three locations. One. Base of tree in a hole. Two. Y of tree. Three. In this dead grass and vine. We're going to make this quick. We're going to make this simple. Three locations have been shown to you. You get to pick the right one. It'd be a shame if you picked the wrong one. Tail bottle. Three locations. Pull. Take the pull. You thinking? My hamster got off the wheel, so. <laughs> well, folks, ready? Real simple. Nope. Nah. Yep. Number one, folks. Yes, it is that simple. Not as simple to get the camera off. You take the pill bottle, you hand it to Keith. Keith will then show you behind door number one. Got a nice little hole in the tree. It fits right in there. We cover it with bark. That's how we do it. Well, folks, the three musketeers have done it again. Three caches found today. Three challenges that I hope you did good on. Another fun afternoon. Now, this is our third episode we filmed today. So, yes, I don't always go out individually and film. Three episodes filmed in one day, all back to back. That's why we're all wearing the same clothes, in case you were wondering. Oh. Well, now, we are going to wrap today up officially. I just want to say something, though. He likes to say he hopes you did good. I like to say I hope you didn't. Ooh. <laughs> That's why we do this challenge. We want you to fail. Is Robbie laying down the gauntlet? We try to find really bad locations. I tell you to what. make you go, you know what? I think you just drew the line in the grass. <laughs> do you dare to cross it? 
and take the challenge. If you did, that's why you're seeing this. Take the future challenges because they're all going to be good. They're all going to be challenging. And there are going to be ones that you're going to get frustrated with. Going to get wrong. Are you going to get them wrong? Yeah, they're going to get some wrong. Do Are we that mean when we do the yeah. hides? What do you think? You've yeah, been out yeah. for a couple of times now. You you seen it behind the scenes. I think they're... Are good. we nasty sometimes? Mm -hmm. Not all the time. Or... Do we sometimes just find a better spot? Hmm. Mind-blowing. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that to say that the cash owner did something wrong. Because there is that 50-50 chance that where we did find it, somebody could have put it there because they forgot where they got it from. So I'm not going to sit here and critique where we found them. That's not what I'm trying to do. Because they could be moved from the original spot. So maybe the spot sometimes that we picked that's like, man, that's a better spot. Maybe it was the spot. Maybe that's where the cash was originally until somebody else came along and moved it. You never know. That's why, folks, as a public service announcement, put the cash back where you found it. That could be the right spot. Yeah, where that you should found be it the right spot. And how you found it. Yes. Not just wide open. If it was as geocaching.com rules say, Put it back the same or better. Ooh. But in the same spot though. Don't move it to somewhere that you think is better. Because then a cash owner could come out and go, crap, it's gone. Anyway, now that we're getting long-winded, and if you're watching the long version of the video, you got to see all the hikes and everything. If you're watching the short version, why don't you go check out the walks that we did in between? Some okay conversations, some good conversations, talking about geocaching along the way. And a little look at what it is like out here on East State Game Lands that we're in. Sometimes you have a trail, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> anyway, before I finish that thought and really get flagged for not being PG, I think it's time to just shut up and wrap it up. So happy trails, happy caching, and go out and get a smiley. Thanks for watching again. Hope to see you again next video. Have fun, find some caches. Cache number, am I even in the video? <laughs> yeah, I am. If I stand by that tree, I'm there. This is a mystery micro. You know, I should really look at these damn things. <laughs> two and a half. One mystery micro. Oh, yep, two and a half, one and a half. Oh, one and a half. <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> got ourselves a clear peel 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 <laughs> <laughs>